If you look closely, you might notice that the wheels on the train aren't the only ones turning. These BCIT students came to Port Alberni to build their knowledge and get some intense hands-on training. It's a railway conductor program and they take you through, they teach you all the rules, we go through signals, you're learning clearances, just how the railway operates. More mentally challenging than physically challenging so far is what I've found, but I think it's a learning curve. Go ahead, RTC. We spent quite a bit of time in the classroom before this, learning about all the different, all the different uh, rules, that sort of thing, what to expect, all the different procedures. But until you actually finally get to come up here, get to see it firsthand, get to experience it, it doesn't quite click in. So finally being able to come up here and kind of work through all the different processes. When you strike it, hold it out, and strike away from it. They were down at Argyle Street crossing and trying to, again, giving instruction to the locomotive, but also try to move a train safely across uh, a road, a five-way road crossing, and try to do it in a smooth and as quick a manner as you can and still be safe, because uh, that's, a, that's a skill they got to know. And with this being only one of many conductor practicums being held with Alberni's Industrial Heritage Society, this program continues to be successful and expand. I've been with this BCIT program since the first BCIT class at uh, Fort Alberni, so it's uh, an ongoing project and one that we find very beneficial to our, our students. All the volunteers here are very, uh, very understanding that this is our first time dealing with this kind of stuff, so they're very relaxed, they're very patient with us, they let us make mistakes, they explain everything to us so we know what happened, what to expect next time so we don't make the same mistake. That's one of the best ways I learn. If I do something wrong, it's pointed out to me, I know not to me to do it say it ever again. Here you get challenged every day and that is more exciting. Like it's not that everything you're doing over and over and same thing again. You have to be alert and ready for the challenge and that is the one thing that I enjoy about that. But one of the main reasons this program is so successful is because there's actually a huge demand for workers in this field. I think it's a way of the future from the, from the point of view that, yeah, the, the mainline railroads are hiring. And uh, big freight still moves by, still moves by rail. And uh, yeah, they're not stuck in the past. These guys are heading into the future because a lot of these systems are computerized, but the computerized systems are based on ways they learned that worked to keep trains safe, not bumping into each other uh, from the past. So yeah, it is the way of the future. In Port Alberni, for Shaw TV, I'm Jenny Fortin.